Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Mushroom 11. It's a really stylish game where you guide a... I guess a malleable fungus from one edge of a level to another. It's, uh, I mean, obviously post-apocalyptic, and I don't know, it's really cool. I, I like the style for it. I don't know if this is going to be an impressions video or a series, but it's definitely worth looking into at the very least. I love, I love the visual design for this game. I also saw it at the Boston Festival of Indie Games. I didn't actually get to play it because it was a very popular, uh, it was a very popular game at the time. They had a couple of demo stations, and I was not able to, uh, you know, get in line just because I was very busy and very tired. Uh, <laughs> let's say you go to you go to a convention for ten hours, uh, you're going to get absolutely wiped out and not going to you're not going to be able to see everything. But I did manage to talk to the developer for a little while. I think I was actually talking to one of the developer's wives, maybe? Because the developers themselves were actually in Europe at the time. Uh, so I didn't I didn't get the chance to actually talk with them. But, you know, she talked about it for a while and sounded pretty good. Actually, you know what? I think she was in charge of marketing. I don't know if she was actually related to any of the... Uh, I'm going to say actual developers, but she was totally part of the team. Uh... But still. Uh, but, you know, I was watching people play for a while, and it just, it looked really fun. So this game, I believe, has a free demo out right now, and comes out tomorrow, the 15th. Uh, and, I don't know, it's just kind of a neat game. It reminds me of Flyin' in a way, even though, like, the game plays wildly in incomparable. Uh, but so, I guess, just to explain what the heck I'm doing here... I'm effectively using the mouse as a, a circle to push the, uh, the, you know, the mushroom around. Ooh, 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 ooh. No way! We're not going to the lava. I don't know what, I don't know what that's gonna do, but still. So, this is pro quite possibly one of the most unique, I'm gonna say puzzle platformers I have ever played. Okay, so I can't get past that. So we need to figure out... Oh, there we go. So we need to... What we need to do... Is split this one over here. And expand past. Shoot. There we go. Perfect. Luckily, you don't lose any mass by, like, chopping it in half or anything like that. So, uh, doesn't really bother me that much. There's a moving gel blob fungus thing over here. I don't know what that's about or whatever, but we're gonna try and catch it. There we go. Oh, it gives us, like, DNA. I don't know if the DNA is supposed to be, like, just score, or if it actually, if it actually gives you a bonus. I'd like to imagine it gives you a bonus, but this game doesn't feel that complicated. So, I don't know. But yeah, so you can mold it. It's not fluid, though it will flow, obviously. But you can use it to make various shapes to get around various obstacles. Uh, which, I mean, makes this a really interesting physics-based everything. I don't know. It's it's unique. I've never seen anything even remotely close to Mushroom 11. And that's actually really cool to me. Okay, I don't know what this is down here. More DNA, I guess. Uh, but... I actually really hope this game comes out on mobile, just because I think it's a, it's such a unique deal. As far as, you know, game go, like, as far as gameplay goes, come on. Uh, the problem is, I need to, I need to fire it up. Which is hard to do, there we go. Got it. Okay, I do wish it would actually reabsorb it, its parts that it touches. It doesn't do that, and that kind of weird, uh, confuses me. But still, okay. So we obviously don't want it to fall into the hole. I think we'll be okay, though. I don't know where that gel dude is going. Apparently nowhere. Okay, that's fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can do this. I can do this, I believe. Oh. Wait, no, I, I, I can do this. I can get to the top of the elevator. Instead of trying to fire myself self with the other one. We're just gonna go around the other way. We're gonna go around this way as the as the thing goes down. That's fine. Come on. Got it. Beautiful. Yeah, so obviously 
it's it's more of a kind of like an issue of maybe not personal strategy, but just mastering the uh, mastering the molding with the character here. Oh shoot! Oh, these are checkpoints. Okay, I dig it. So we need to uh, we need to get stuck in. I got it. Or if we're not going to get stuck in, we need to at the very least stay safe here. Stand on top of the pillar. Ideally, if I can fill that little hole, it'll be safer. I don't know yet. Oh, got it. I don't know where I'm going in this. I don't know where that gel dude is going. Ah, shoot. Got it! Aha! Fooled ya! And we're good. Yeah, I don't know. This game just reminds me of flying for, flying for some reason. Okay, so we need to we need to leave this kind of hook on on top here, but obviously mold the slime so it doesn't get super roasty toasty here. Beautiful, love it. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's a weird experience. I I just got finished playing um, Tomorrow Corp uh, not Tomorrow Corporation, the Human Me Resource Machine, uh, which I guess is going to go up just before this video does. And I don't know what I don't know what it is about like both games, but they just have that kind of like extremely unique feel to them, which I really enjoy. I don't know. There there aren't a whole lot of I'm gonna say like really unique games on the market right now. Oh shoot! I didn't even realize I had that goo bit over there. So we need to keep we need to move both of these independently of each other. This is hard, because yeah, some sometimes as you de delete parts here, they will they will like teleport back to the other one. I'm not entirely sure how the uh, the mushroom spe specifically is supposed to be doing all of this, but whatever. I mean, does it does it really matter for our enjoyment of this game? No, it does not. It's such a peaceful experience. So, first and foremost, I'm not sure if this game's coming out on mobile. I hope it does, just because I feel like it would be a substantially, uh... I'm gonna say smoother? But I don't know if smoother is the right word. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna say I think I would enjoy this a little bit more on a mobile platform. Obviously, if I'm gonna be recording it, I need to be playing it on PC. But, uh, I, I think this game would be really fun on a phone. You know, if if you're just kind of playing over the course of, like, an afternoon, say, like, on a car ride or whatever, playing playing this game would actually be pretty entertaining. Plus, I think the controls would work better uh, with, like, a touchy interface. Especially if it's supported, like, multi-touch. I think multi-touching could actually be really entertaining. Ooh, we are getting toasty roasty. That said, it looks like there's no penalty for damage in this game. There's no, like, marker for how much uh, damage you can take. So... I do wait... Oh, wait. Oh, you can you can sharply cut. They didn't they didn't tell you that. No, they didn't tell me that. Uh, then again, as far as I can tell, there's no actual tutorial for this game. I feel like I found a boss. Could be wrong on this one. Okay. So we need to figure out how to... Yee. Get around. Then again, we might be able to get killed here. You are mine. Okay, perfect. As long as they leave one small section up here, we're good to go. Beautiful. This is horrifying. But I, I love it. I did not expect there would be a boss. So, it looks like there's... Yeah, there's no penalty for damage. Which is totally fine by me. Because it just it just ends up making this game kind of... Ah. I don't, I don't know what we've got over there, but I don't want to deal with it. But, uh, you know, it makes this game more of a puzzle. More of a technique system. Than a, than a like, particularly punishing experience. Which is actually really fun. I, I see no reason why this game should have a failure state. 
Uh, apart from, I guess, falling into lava and resetting. You know what? We want to. We probably want to follow it down. Eh, it doesn't matter. We figured it out. All right, chapter complete. Oh, I missed three. Still, we got uh, three genes. Uh, we we missed three genes. Forty-seven out of fifty. That's pretty good. And time: nine minutes and thirty-eight seconds. Cool. So we're gonna continue. Uh, use left click to erase cells. And yeah, okay. Finally, it tells me that tip. Ah, <sighs> this is a relaxing game. I dig it. I dig it a lot. I. I'm not entirely sure how much I would recommend this to, like, the average person. Oh, nuts. I want to grab the goopy gaps. Got it, got it, got it, got it! Yeah! Alright! I'm not sure how much I would recommend it to, like, most gamers, but I think this is a perfect example of a game that would be really fun as, uh, to, like, hand to a child. Or... Damn it. <laughs> uh, I, I think this game would be awesome for kids, especially. I, I think it's, I mean, it's very trial and error-y, but it's not too hard. I, I think as an adult, I can appreciate it a fair amount, and that didn't work. Uh, as an adult, I can appreciate it. The gameplay is simple, but complex enough to, you know, make it difficult for me. I'm just going to see if I can... Do this manually. There we go. Okay, come on. Perfect. Got it. Uh, but I don't know. It, it's interesting. I I would definitely be willing to do a series on this one. I'm not sure when or how. Admittedly. Oh, I see. So I mean, I need to just smack it down by using physics. Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it a lot. Just keep knocking it around. Yeah! Because, I, I, I don't know. Th this goes in the same vein as... I'm just going to say games like... Maybe not Limbo... Eh, sort of Limbo. I mean, obviously the gameplay is different. But the design mentality, as far as I'm concerned, is largely the same. And we go dumping straight in. Uh, design mentality is very similar to Limbo, Feist, uh, just, you know, kind of the, the puzzle platformer. You find an interesting gimmick and you attach the game to it. Uh, and I can, I can very much work in support of that. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hard. My index finger is actually hurting pretty substantially from, uh, from it all. Oh, okay, good. That that chain is not going into the lava. Okay, so we want to do we want to extend it up and turn it into a tower. Cuz reaching that fly is going to be really hard. Oh, we got it. Okay, cool. Beautiful. And we can just get around this way. Nice. I, I dig this a lot. It is clever. I I think maybe that's why I'm drawn to the game. The concept behind it is is smart. This is a smartly designed game. There is nothing I I will say about it that's like, you know, every element of this was gone over with a very fine pencil, a very fine brush. You know, you know exactly what you've kind of gotten into. Uh, you know, the the developers obviously have left nothing to chance here. It's not buggy in any way, shape, or form. And, you know, the, the visual design, the, the design of the mushroom itself uh, floors me. At every turn. I mean, really, it's just uh, it's just an alpha map texture that animates. But, like, this part here is, as far as I'm concerned, is technically uh, amazing. So I want to get... I want to get it... Oh, crap. So we need as much as we can. As much as we can get. 
Come on. I'd rather fall. And get it. Come on. Shoot. What if I just cut it in half? Because I've, I've got a lot of leverage here. Ah, nuts. I want it. I want it so bad. And I know I can do it. It's hard. It's got to be possible, though. The problem is it's just a pain in the butt getting this thing to behave. Exactly the way you want it to. Got it! Alright! Perfect! And moving on. That's a freaky looking spider. Oh, I see. I see how you're supposed to get it. Sort of. So you need to go up and around. Got it! Alright! Killed it! And again, no penalty for failure, but uh, a small reward for cleverness. I can honestly respect that. A lot. There we go. Yeah. Cause obviously there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of I don't know, there there's a lot of challenge in completing this game. Honestly, I could probably blitz through most of it with little to no effort. But the concept of of succeeding here is an extremely attractive prospect. How the nuts am I... Oh. Okay, before we do this, let's go up here and grab whatever we can. Then let's consider how we're going to get the, the flies up there. Couple of ideas. And I think... Oh, this is not what I was expecting. I thought we'd have to use the boulder as a counterweight, but that's not the case. Okay, so getting the spider is going to be the challenge here. And I can always come back. So what we want to do is effectively get it to hook, start falling. And hit the spider on the way down. Because that's the only way I can think of doing it. Got it. All right. Cool, and I, I don't even have to come back. Feels good. Okay, so the visuals are great. The music is amazing. The, um... I mean, the design work that went into this game is absurd. Obviously, that's kind of a nice little matte painted background there. Matte painting is like painting over and or kind of like integrating photographs. I mean, it could be completely custom painted. Ooh, that's some nice parallax. I didn't even, didn't even pay attention to that. Uh... But, no, I don't know. It's just a very nicely designed game. And I'm just going to be nothing but impressed about that. Getting around this boulder is going to be harder than I thought. I feel like I'm. what I need to do is be as large as possible while rolling off the edge, but as round as possible, too. Good luck, me. Maybe I'm not hitting the edge far enough? Nope, okay, there we go. That's the, that's the secret to success. Oh, and we just go down this way. That makes, that makes plenty of sense. Cool, I dig it. I assume that poison liquid is all sorts of no good. But that's fine. Where the goddamn slime mold? Oh. Oh, okay, good. We have a little bit to attach to there, so it's not so bad. This is gonna be this is gonna be a bit rough. I'm not gonna de deny that one. So my hope is I can get it to fall over. Safely. Okay, cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, got it. All right, beautiful. What are these orb things? Oh, they're... They're like a, a lock system. 
So what I need to do is extend upwards. Got it. All right. And luckily I don't have to touch it all the time. Beautiful. Looks like there's a cave illustration of like a giant monster looking thing. Threatening maybe a human? I'm not entirely clear on that bit, but still. I have no idea what anything else is here. Oh, there's like a, a, one of those rocking horses. It's obviously seen better days. Okay. Can I like pan the camera at all? Because we've got lava down there. The, the implications here are... I see. We have to... We have to dump part of ourselves down. That was clever, though. So we need to... We need to build up. If possible. Okay, got it. Yeah! Yeah, there, there's a lot of satisfaction with overcoming all of these... All of these... Puzzles? Yeah, I guess they are all, all puzzles. It's just, you know, the... The complicatedness of all of this just makes it... It makes it really satisfying to succeed when, you know, normally... You would... You would be... Frustrated and... Angry? I don't know. I, I'm sure there will be points in this game where I'm going to be... Very, very tired... Of... Failure... Here. But right now I have not hit a wall. Hopefully the difficulty curve is fairly benign. But you never know. These games can get these games can get wildly out of hand really fast. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I love getting past an obstacle in this game. It they made that bit feel really good. Oh, I remember this. This is the part that I was watching somebody else play. At the convention. Usually usually I don't go into these things. I don't know how I'm supposed to get to that one. Usually I go into these things particularly blind, but not... Well, I mean, I guess this game normally is going to be fairly blind, but I couldn't help but uh, be spoiled slightly by the convention. Yeah, how the heck am I supposed to get up there? Let's switch over to a fine eraser, because we effectively want to build up. Luckily, it comes down just a little bit. So we got that going for us. Wish I could kind of just... I wish I could kind of sculpt the, sculpt this. I, unfortunately, it works as an eraser, not a pushing tool. Which is the unfortunate bit. But we don't look to be tipping. So we got that going for us. Nope. Okay. Okay. We're so close. We're so close yet so far. Got it. All right. Got the bug. Let's keep going. Uh, now, was there another bug over here? Yeah, there was. It might be a little bit harder getting to this one. Nope. It's actually going to be fairly easy. All we have to do is extend down from here in kind of the same manner. Alternatively, perfect. <laughs> Sacrifice part of ourselves to get it. It's not like it cost me anything. Yeah. All right. I wonder what the next boss is going to be like here. Okay. That was closer than I'd like it to be. So I'm just going to keep leveling the mushroom off. Because we only need so much. And I think we're good to go. Got it. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going around. I believe I can do this. You know, I, f I find fine eraser mode makes uh, uh, is probably better for this situation. Okay. Now I'm actually going to go over for a second. I get the feeling there's something else up here. Otherwise, why would there be this this ramp? Yep. Secrets upon secrets. 
dirty little secrets, eating all of the things. I do feel a little bit bad, seeing as we're effectively taking this, this giant slime creature and eating whatever remains in the world. Pretty much. You know, spiders, plants. Oh, shoot, it act oh shit, this one actually does poison. So, I... Okay, this one's actually dangerous. So you have to... If it if it even comes close, it actively poisons you. Damn it. I had it. This is hard. You know what? It's probably best if I... If I just fire a section at it. And just kind of extend over. Got it. All right, perfect. So we've got the we've got the poison section. Ah, dang. So we've we've got we've got the danger down. So we need to extend up. We already kind of know how this system works. It's probably best if I'm just up in these three. Actually, you know what? Interestingly enough, I can. Press the different points. Let's extend what we can. And then what we can. Okay. So we're almost there. Come on, touch it. Touch it, you goddamn slime mold. I believe in you. Yeah, the problem is... There we go. The problem is you can't push, you can only erase. And, I mean, erasing does do a lot of the pushing just because of the way this game works. But still, oh, it's boss time. I don't know what we're up against, but it shouldn't be too bad. As long as it doesn't do the poison thing, a failure state here could be particularly annoying. It's another spider. What's with this game and spiders? I don't know. I see. It's... Got a seesaw defense mechanism. That's kind of great, actually. So the moment I come close to touching the seesaw... ...is the moment it knocks me away. Okay, so it doesn't seem to do poison damage. I... Th this is kind of gruesome. I'm effectively going to be eating its eyes. Okay, so we probably want to go back for the seesaw. That's the easiest way to go up. Its eyes have escaped to the top of its head. But, I don't know. Like, I realize that this thing is kind of horrifying looking. At the same time, I can't help but feel that I might or might not be the villain in this situation. Because I've already eaten, like, half of the fauna in this, in this zone, in this world. I, I've eaten everything that I've come across, and I'm eating this thing's eyeballs. Come on, come on. It's very hard to extend here. What if we're just here? If we're just here. Got it. Oof. How many eyeballs does he even have? I don't know, but, like, I'm, like, the mo most malicious thing in the universe here. Well, you know what? We might as well escape the other direction. Interestingly enough, you can... Uh, the slime doesn't really regrow unless it's on, on land. That's an interesting setup. I wonder why it works that way. Not like I mind much, but still... Is he dead? Nope, he's got them eyes again. Okay. But yeah, this is this is an interesting experience. It, it's nice to fight a boss for once that It's it's nice to fight a boss for once that ow. Oh no 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 oh, no 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 no. Well, I don't think it resets the boss's health or anything like that, but it, it's nice fighting bosses that 
aren't aren't actively dangerous to you. They just slow you down. The boss becomes a puzzle, not a. Uh, the boss becomes a puzzle, not a. Not a chore. I mean, the puzzle can become a chore, but still. Got it. Your eyes are mine, and now it is dead. Alright, boss 2 defeated. And with that, we are just about done. God, that thing looks horrifying. Oh, jeez. Does that, like, nullify the poison somehow, or do I have to scoot across it? I see, I have to scoot across. So I gotta make sure I don't get poisoned here. Because that would kill me. And then I might have to redo the boss fight. I don't think I'd want to do that. Best time. 20 seconds. Uh, 20 seconds. 20 minutes. Ugh. Be interesting to see this game actually speedrun. And apparently I missed a lot of stuff. I thought I was being thorough. Well, either way. So, this has been, uh, this has been my, I guess, quick look of Mushroom 11. I'm probably gonna keep playing with this, just because I can't imagine the game's particularly long. I have no idea. But it kind of fits in the same vein as Feist and some other games. Uh, and as such would be kind of nice for just a very short series, especially while I wait for other games to release. So, the game is, I believe, 15 bucks. I think it's gonna be like 12 50 13 something like that. Uh, on release, just for, like, a little bit of a sale. I could be wrong. It could be as low as, uh, $10. Uh, unfortunately, usually when I get these press emails, they just hand me the game, and it's like, here you go, and I'm like, okay. Uh, and they don't actually give me, like, prices or anything like that, which is a bit of a shame, but still. I think you can, uh, I think you can check it, well, obviously, it's probably gonna be on Steam by the time most of you see this. Could be wrong on, the, on that one. Let's see. Do they say anything about the price? No. Why not? Why not just tell me as, as part of it all? Mushroom 11 is going to be like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, I don't know, whatever. Uh, no, it doesn't look like there's even a pre-order page here. Oh, that's silly. Oh well, so the game's either 10 or 15 bucks. Honestly, I would say this is at some point probably gonna end up in a Humble Bundle. If you ever see it in a Humble Bundle, definitely buy it then. Uh, it's totally worth it at that point in time. Otherwise, uh, 15 bucks might be pushing it a little bit for most people. 10 bucks would probably be kind of fun. I think this game's also coming out on mobile. I hope, I hope it is. Uh, it's, I mean, it's currently coming out on S Steam, Good Old Games, and Humble Bundle. But it would actually be really nice if it came out, uh, mobile as well. Just because, you know, mobile, the game itself feels like it's most suited for being played on mobile anyway. I don't know. Uh, but it's not a bad experience. The art is amazing. The music is great. And the gameplay is unique. I've never seen any any games even remotely close to it. It's not particularly deep in the same, like, in like mechanically in comparison to a lot of other games. But the, the handling and the physics in this game is top-notch. So you could do some pretty snazzy stuff with this. I'm not going to deny. So, I think it's really cool. I like it a lot. And probably I'm going to keep playing it. Really depends on you guys as usual. Because, obviously, if nobody wants to watch anymore, then I'm probably not going to do it. Either way, though. Uh, with that said, I would say this game's worth picking up at some point in time. Just so you can mess around with it. It's, it's such a unique entity that it would probably be worthwhile for most people interested in playing indie games. Okay. So, with that... If you liked this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And uh, if you want to see more Mushroom 11, let me know in the comments below. And uh, hit subscribe, because, like I said, I'm probably going to keep playing this, just because it's it's interesting and entertaining. Um, and I guess with that, I will see you guys on the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.